Hey, I want to tell you about something that happened a couple of weeks ago. Um, we have um, woods in our backyard and uh, my wife has a chainsaw, which she will not let me touch and for good reason. But what I can do is once she cuts the fallen trees into, you know, 14, 16 inch pieces that can fit into the fireplace, it's my job to turn them into logs that can go in the fireplace. And some of these are pretty big around, they wouldn't fit. So I have an ax and I take the ax and I swing it over my head and I bring it down and it chops the wood. Um, the first time I did this, it was with uh, sycamore. And it took me about two hours to split 15 pieces because it would go in and it would get, the ax head would get stuck. And then I'd have to wiggle it out, jiggle it out, bang it around, set up the log again, do it again. It would get stuck and it maybe took 10, 15, 20 splits to get the first split. And then it'd still be too big because I'd have to, you know, break each of those into two. And I would just go through the same thing again. And after about an hour and a half, I'd done a small pile. I was sweating. I thought, wow, this uh, splitting wood is pretty hardcore. It's really hard, really time consuming. I understand why people pay for, you know, log splitters or getting the wood delivered already. And I thought, well, that's just how it is. And then my wife cut up another tree and it was oak. And I thought oak is a hardwood. Hardwood must mean it's really hard to cut. And I took the first one and we had you know, about 25 different pieces. And I thought, well, this is going to take me several days to get through. I'll just do an hour at a time. And I took the axe over my head and I swung it and it split that oak the first time all the way through. The two pieces just flew apart. I'm like, holy cow, is that an accident? Did that happen? I took each of the half pieces. Same thing. Turns out oak has a very different grain structure and the, the grains are all going in the same direction. And so if you hit it well, the whole thing just splits. And I managed to get that whole oak tree done in the time it took me to do a tiny amount of the sycamore. And this is true for so many things in life that we do. We try something and we think, boy, this is so hard. I don't know what I'm doing. I can't stick to this diet. I can't cook this food. I don't have to, I got to try something. I tried meditation for 20 minutes. And after 30 seconds, I was peeking at the timer. Like it's got to be over by now, doesn't it? And we get imprinted on the hard way of doing things. And we think, well, I could never imagine it being any easier. And then something changes. We use oak instead of sycamore and all of a sudden it becomes simple. So I want you to think about those things in your life that you tried, that you started, that the first time you did them were really hard. And in your mind, you imprinted that this thing is really hard. And maybe by changing a little something, maybe by getting a little better at it, like who knows, maybe I just got really good at chopping wood. Or by changing something about the process. So using a different ingredient, maybe using, you know, pre-washed cut cauliflower, florets instead of a whole head of cauliflower. All of a sudden, the thing that took you so long becomes easy. Right? Maybe it's buying frozen artichoke hearts instead of buying whole artichokes, steaming them, peeling them. Who knows what it is? But think about those things that you have decided without sufficient evidence are really hard and see if you can figure out ways to explore, to allow the possibility that maybe they could be much easier. All right. Let me know what you think. Have a great day.